Yo, I've been seeing this uh, like this this thumbnail on my feed. Like you will see this thumbnail right here. I've been seeing this thumbnail on my feed a lot, and uh, <laughs> I, I'm checking it out. It's a 22 minute video, bro. I'm sick of J Cole. <laughs> Let's check this out, people. Let's check this out. If you're new to the channel, I welcome you. You know, a wolf. Yeah, like and subscribe. You know, if you enjoyed it content share the video yes and let's get this let's see what this dude has to say because this is right up this was right off the heels of port antonio <laughs> i just i'm just getting now getting around to reacting to it so let's get this you know i will yeah j cole fans man j cole fans might as well back out and unsubscribe right now y'all are about to hate everything i have to say and i hope i get under all y'all skin i'm gonna be honest with you i hope i irritate your soul matter of fact drop a clown emoji in the comments welcome to gotham city bitch. i'm about to terrorize that ass i'm about to really bully this nigga and i'm about to bully his fan base and i ain't here for y'all to agree with me either ask me if i care go ahead ask me if i care you can't cancel someone who doesn't give a fuck and unlike your favorite <laughs> <laughs> rapper i don't backtrack and apologize i like your favorite you know rapper. me I'm, I'm youtube's <laughs> biggest villain the new biggest villain the reason why i say that is because my my opinion is not going to be popular you might not like anything i gotta say okay that's a funny <laughs> J. Cole is still a goofy, the passive aggressive rapper. Being passive aggressive should never be praised, by the way. And if I didn't have to worry about monetization in the first few minutes of this video, I would call him a bunch of other names off top. But I'll get back to that after the three minute mark. Don't trip. This guy Don't really pulled off the <laughs> ultimate con, convincing the world he's some saintly sunset cruising philosopher type of nigga on a bike. Get out of here with that. On his recent drop, Port Antonio, Cole takes a moment to address the big three B between Drake, Kada, and himself. Listen, man, this isn't meant to criticize his talent or undermine his writing skills. It's about exposing his lack of integrity and his false claims of moral high ground. It's all a facade. It's fake as fuck, and people keep falling for the shit. They say I'm picking sides, they don't you lie. Uh, people keep, yo, I knew people was gonna have this type of opinion. I knew people was gonna have the type of opinion, and, they, and they're entitled to their own opinion. And if he's gonna provide evidence, but yeah, the evidence is the type of bravado that he sh he been showing in his previous songs, you know, to let people um build this type of impression. Like, yeah, I'm that dude. I'm that too, dude. Don't test or you, uh, check yourself before you wreck yourself. You know, yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Tell me, my nigga, to start another war. Hey, Drake, you'll always be my nigga. This is called gaslighting. Not only does he apologize to the guy who's been dissing him and rewriting history by claiming that it's the fans and the people that are writing the narrative of him picking a side, but now he's mm -hmm. shifting the blame onto bloggers and fans, accusing them of profiting from the beef. I pulled the plug because I seen where that was about to go. They wanted blood, they wanted clicks to make their pockets grow. As if the bloggers yes. and the fans started it. Huh? So that's why he didn't engage, huh? Because he didn't want others cashing in on the drama? Nigga, we over here minding our business like Kendrick was. You wasn't <laughs> saying that shit when First Person Shooter went number two. You True. stood by it. First Person True. Shooter did did go number two. No, I didn't go number two. It went number one. But if it would have went number two, it wouldn't have mattered. Like, you know what pushed the First Person Shooter over the edge? And I noticed because this is Eve telling me this. It's not like I'm checking for this. If the other song would have went number one. It's like, bro, I'm, I'm cool. I almost feel better not having my first number one be off of Drake alley -oop. You know what I mean? Like, I love Drake. And I love that I'm a part of that moment with him, with Michael Jackson. But it's like, bro, cap. <laughs> Stop it. This man gonna try to sit here and say he wasn't checking for that to be number one when that was gonna be his very first number one. Stop it, Cole. And then the most shocking statement of the whole track. I wouldn't have lost the battle dog. I would have lost the bro. I would have gained the phone. This is for real a delusional man, child. You sound like a real hater. A hating child watching his friend's championship game. And he tells them, hey, you did good, but you wouldn't have won against me. If I was out <laughs> on the court, you wouldn't have won against me, though. <laughs> Nigga. Yo, 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 <laughs> yo, yo, we have a, we have a, like, um, in Jamaica, we have a type of person, like, uh, you have them type of friend there, 
them type of friend there. These types of friends that if something happens to you and yo, they would say to your face, knowing they couldn't do it, would say, yo, that could never happen to me. <laughs> yo, <laughs> like they would have say, I, I, sh I should have me. You, you would have seen, you, you would have seen how I would have deal with it. Like you would have seen. <laughs> we all know that one person in Jamaica or in you know, your your lives that they they all BS, you know, they all BS, they full of shit and uh, trying to freaking like, like um downplay your accomplishments or what you did, like they could have done better. Or if you failed at something, they would have been the one to succeed, you know? Well, uh, but why success <laughs> or the, uh, or accomplish it? <laughs> no, fucking see. Well, yeah, let's get to that. Hey, sit your ass down. You was on the bleachers. Shut the fuck up, hater. Call over here wanting to be the narrator or the commentator of the Infinity War. We don't need you to do that, bruh. Sit down somewhere. We seen it. Your lyrics aren't changing our perspective, nigga. We seen it. We're trying to change the narrative and shit. We seen it. And then he sneaks in some lines like, I'm a killer with the pen. You see this fire in my pen and think I'm dodging smoke. Yeah, okay. Then why act like you need therapy over a hip-hop beef, man? <laughs> <laughs> this is hip hop. You didn't have to engage at all. If you're as morally upright and walk a truly virtuous path, I would think at 40 years old, your big man age, you wouldn't have fallen into this beef in the first place. You would have naturally <laughs> knew it was wrong from the start because evidently yeah. that's your whole rap persona, right? Which is yeah. actually a crutch. You lean on this persona when shit gets tough. Bro, you should have stayed out of it. Just like all the other rappers that didn't get involved. You should have stayed the fuck out of it every yeah. rapper who did decide to join knew what was coming and what it meant but for someone who claims to be the best and constantly throws subliminal shots oh, you don't yes. get to throw stones and hide your hands <laughs> when things get messy again every rapper that tapped yeah. into this yo 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 <laughs> i'm agreeing with a lot of things he's saying in this yo yo and um this kind of like looking at this and how i went about like reacting to his to, to port antonio check that out you know on my channel <laughs> um i was kind of too lenient on cole even though i did some pushback say you can't be out here beating your chest like you the best and then um tuck your tail and run when the, the the freaking challenge comes to your door yeah even if it's your friends like i'm telling you <clears throat> But this is t <laughs> this is making what I said look like I was too I was too lenient on, on him, you know. But uh, what what's done is done. I can't change it. Yeah beef knew what would happen and what it meant whether they had the dope bars or not they took the backlash to the chin and kept it pushing rick yeah. ross rocky yay future metro drake k-dot they all took the criticism and dealt with it like a man j cole is a walking <laughs> contradiction yeah this is when i'm gonna tear that ass up he presents a Why righteous no. rhyme style with a noble attitude <laughs> but beneath all that lies envy and jealousy that runs deep this is the same guy that dissed the SoundCloud generation. Remember that? Just because. Yes. Just for the hell of it. Which started the whole Fuck J. Cole movement. He did this unprovoked. Instead of taking the new artists under his wing, he dissed them and criticized them. Have you heard what J. Cole has dropped? What are, I mean, do you what, heard it? Yep, yeah, he heard it. Okay, that's okay. You knew that question was coming. What yeah, do we feel right? about it? Yeah, what I, do you think? I, I, it was cool. I don't, I, I don't listen to J. Cole. I definitely listened to it. It was flooded. It flooded my shit. It was everywhere. Why? Because everybody said he was talking about me. Absolutely. Who else would he be talking about? What other littles? Either me or Uzi. Little Bat Wow? Right. Honestly, I don't give a fuck. Wow, you get so much props. You just a 17 year old. <laughs> Lame ass jet. At the time they all gained high popularity that Cole always wanted and envied. J. Cole around that time would But at that time everyone was like um everyone was on that time that 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 um Mumble Rap era. And I I hated the type of rapping that they did. At least I could understand Lil Yachty. 
because the dude actually freaking pronouncing the words, not ending it with a slur, like like slurring the end of the words that like to create words that don't even exist. So you don't even know what they're talking about. And people like kind of hated that, like that new generation of rapper was always talking about that them designer clothes that lean them drugs and all of that stuff. But that's always been a part of hip hop, but not the main topic that you was always rapping about. And because that, because of that, it was easy to criticize. I did not like it. So I did not pay attention to most of those rappers. The first time I heard Lil Yachty was w with his feature with Kyle, you know, I spy with my little eye, you know, and that freaking song. I listened that today, bro, like, like today, but at least I understand what he's saying right there. And Cole tried to give the that generation some some freaking advice, but don't squander the cr the crumbs that you got that you got, um, because right now a lot of them fell all the way off and trying to freaking garner back some some freaking semblance of relevancy because all the money, all the crumbs that they squandered on that designer stuff and all that goofing off, because they didn't have like a um financial advisors around them or. Because they're young, they don't have enough experience to know that you must freaking save your money. Not because you're popping right now is not, is not, not going to mean that you're going to be popping forever. So put your money down for when something inevitably happens. But yeah, it's not my place to tell someone how else how to spend their money and whatever consequences come from their actions, they got to deal with it like any other grown adult. It's just we was trying to give some freaking advice because we went through it already. At least that's what I think. <laughs> but often claim his B-list celebrity status, knowing he technically wasn't the fan favorite and his envy and jealousy shine through the cracks when attacking the SoundCloud era and basically straight hating on niggas. Now, a lot of you and myself could say in some ways he was technically right about some of the SoundCloud rappers. Yeah. However, a lot of talent came out of that wave. XXX, Juice yes. World, Uzi, yes. and hell, even Yachty if you yes. want to be real. Everything he said about that era only worked on a few artists, but didn't work well, on the ones who made an actual impact. And they no. went against his narrative of bashing the SoundCloud movement, and which I would like to point out, he only dissed them for clout. They were the wave at the time. <laughs> so for him to take shots, we keep to get his name discussion. Busted. Art has always been raw. These were normal kids that produced raw and authentic music. They came from nothing and created their own lane. And please don't mention his high morality and wanting to lead the youth to a better outlook in life and try to act like he's morally better than these guys. Don't try to argue the fact that he was just being a leader to the youth when this nigga fucks with Drake. Drake raps about the exact same things these young kids were, like drugs and fucking bitches and basically doing all the things he dissed the sound cloud rappers for but he condones That's it with true. drake and does music with drake and doesn't That's mind true. if drake does it i guess the difference is that's true that's true but i don't remember that being like drake's personality like like the entirety of what he raps about or makes music about he does make music about it but i'm what my um thing is is like you can't freaking go on listen to one of those young dudes songs Without hearing them talking about popping zans, you know that money, you know that 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 lean, you know that you know that 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 having them Gucci Louis, you know, yeah, I know they flexing what they 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 flexing about the stuff that they can buy, but why promoting liver damage? But that's probably a different take that most people don't like is that Drake can actually rap and Drake doesn't back away from a beef so he decides to be a hypocrite a straight up hating ass hypocrite he would <laughs> then later backtrack on everything he said about the SoundCloud movement while talking to Little Yachty at that point in time you were kind of also eh, fuck these new niggas too not yeah. outwardly I never did anything I don't think outwardly that, well maybe I did did I hate these rappers especially the amateur eight week rappers Lil whatever yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Kinda, like yeah. came at all of the new generation yeah. 
Yeah, but it wasn't. You see how this nigga didn't try to take accountability and act as if he was attacked for no reason? Yachty mm -hmm. didn't let that shit slide. And he had to remind him that he came for a whole entire young generation, which he then admits to hating on Soldier Boy for the same exact thing. And basically admitted to being an overall hater. A lot of that shit for me, I was conflicted because on one hand, we partying all the time to this music. But on the other hand, I'm like, man, this shit go against everything that I think that I am or who I am. I had some fake morals. Around the time Soldier Boy came out, I don't know how this happened, but I had a, a realization within myself. But at that time, I had resistance. Similar to when you came out and your mm. class came out, I had resistance. Nah, that's not the thing that I love. Like, y'all fucking with this? Like, I was one of them. Yeah. And it was literally a part of me that had a realization. So I was like, bruh, you a hater. Like, yo, you are literally hating. Fast forward, when y'all came out, mind you, I'm coming off my biggest album ever, like 2014 Forest Hill Drive, boom, boom, boom. I'm feeling like, Phew, boy, I did it. This down the third, and then right before my eyes, shit is shifting. Completely. I, completely shifting. Mm -hmm. It's like, man, what's that shit on? We didn't care about that shit no more, bro. Like, my knee jerk reaction to that music was the same. It was, man, this shit, boom, boom. I had to have a conversation with myself, like, nigga, you hating. Again, throwing stones and hiding your hands. I don't understand why J. Cole talking about false prophets, but didn't mention higher ups, changing name to Amber Cole. These fucking entertainers are playing about the rules, sucking government dick for the sake of the state cool. This guy mm -hmm. also went at Kanye West when he not only used Kanye's song to break through mainstream with Workout Plan, which Kanye had to sign off and give him the okay to do so, basically using Ye for his first mainstream hit. This dude has multiple tweets glazing Ye throughout his career. For him to then take shots at Ye unprovoked just because he disagrees with Ye's stance. And while everyone has the right to speak up and share their opinions, even if they weren't asked to do so, yes, it's okay to disagree with someone. However, we all know Ye isn't a battle rapper to begin with. He doesn't <laughs> battle rap. He's most likely not to respond on the track, but most likely in an interview or a rant. Most most of Kanye's music is about self-uplifting and harsh motivational songs to work out to are just brain food to be great. The first time he's ever made any kind of actual real diss track was in fact the Like That remix against Drake and Lucian Grange. So at the time of False Prophets, <laughs> this guy takes on an easy ass target. Let me diss a guy that I know that won't make a song back at me, who happens to be in their prime, so I'll gain attention through hip hop for coming at one of the greats basically some more opportunist type shit and another attack Loud. for clout oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> jay folds every time false prophets <laughs> which that song wasn't about him there's one verse that applies to him for yes. sure but if you listen to that song that song is about what this shit is exposing and what i you know i gotta check myself about and i check myself on that song at one point in time i put this dude on a major pedestal and he ain't the only one that's been there jay been there you know what i mean mm -hmm. Pac been there big been there nas been there it's it's a bunch of people that have sat on that pedestal of like bro you inspire me and these kids come up to me and they tell me the same thing now and there's nothing wrong with that you inspire me but it's when it's at an unhealthy level nah nigga you ain't fooling nobody but your dumb ass fan base that's why kanye to this day don't fuck with you you just never stand on shit every situation you backtrack or you like to yeah. drop out of the fight <laughs> <laughs> like it wasn't like that and everyone took it out of context the same way you did the soundcloud rappers and now how you're doing kendrick and drake situation you like to backtrack j cole would then still later praise kanye when the genius documentary dropped in 2022 showing his support and admiration he posted a picture of kanye on his instagram page saying thank you for this kanye west and cootie rock phenomenal vulnerable powerful sad inspirational insightful wonderful masterful grateful to have watched are you guys really gonna give props to somebody you think is a false prophet that you took shots at like let's be for real here no no you not you not you not really gonna give props to them to, to a person like that some of the stuff that he pointing out making them do seem like he don't got no integrity i don't want to say disingenuous um but like the dude the dude like um doesn't have any freaking any 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 integrity bro all the contradictory stuff that you've been doing j cole this dude is bringing it up and putting it in your face but i get it this is what humans do like they, they're not perfect so i'm not i'm not acting like j cole should be held to a higher standard
if he portrays himself as being as having um, better morals than the rest or having having a holier than thou mindset, you know, like he say, like how he said he he saw that people wanted blood and just the profit and clicks and all of that. Well, yeah, you got to hold him to a higher standard as how this video is calling out his contradictory behavior and the freaking stuff that he been doing that does not add up. Some people might say he's a hypocrite, but I'm not going to use that word. <laughs> okay. Man, throwing stones and hiding your hands. And then there's the recent KDOT situation where he jumps on a track that's clearly aimed at his so-called friend. <laughs> Fully aware of the Man. beef between Dot and Drake, to make it worse, after Kendrick revealed that Drake had invited him to collaborate on the exact song that dissed him, and he declined it, would mean Cole knew about the situation, the yeah. reason behind it, and still chose to take shots with his friend's rival, playing all sports in his music videos that only takes two players, like chess, ping pong, football, <laughs> boxing, the Spider-Man meme, it was loud and clear with Drake and and Cole was doing. They were throwing stones. I've seen some Cole fans stick up for this behavior though, saying that he fell victim. I did not realize that. I did not realize that because I wasn't thinking that deep, bro. I wasn't thinking thinking about it that deep. But that, yo, <laughs> yo, that, that now that he points it out, yo, I, I can make the connection him to Drake and didn't realize that Drake was using him to aim at KDOT. And they try to say he didn't realize that it was a Kendrick diss track at all. And I call bullshit on that. Not only is J. Cole about to be 40 years old, making him older than both parties involved, he builds his entire a, music a persona this, around this being an analytical rapper. And you're telling me he suddenly couldn't read the fucking room and he became oblivious to the shit? So when he was called out by his friend, Kendrick, for clicking up with his foe, Drake, Cole releases seven minute drill in a response, completely uh -huh. disrespecting KDOT's catalog, saying how we really and truly felt this entire time. Again, <laughs> unprovoked, because Kendrick's like that verse was only a response to what Cole and Drake did loudly. Kendrick never broke J. Cole's character down the way Cole did to Kendrick, and it revealed J. Cole's true feelings that he's been keeping inside this entire time. A lot of people have amnesia and celebrity memory and besides the j cole fan base the seven minute drill track wasn't well receptive or praised actually a lot of these bars that he said this is light work at the point when i pull up to park to come to the pod and the work in the building i could hear this playing off the phone so i get out and say yeah mm -hmm. what you think light pack what? if he's saying light pack mm -hmm. and amani said light pack there's a few other I've heard just playing it under the gas station. It's been on. Everybody says. I think this is intentionally light, though. No, it's not the time for intentionally light. It ain't light. the time. Y'all can't tell mm -hmm. nobody the how to. They had a number to, one. To, I said it before war. he did this. Come on, Freeze. You can't I tell said nobody it's how to Freeze. Hey, look at me. Look at him, Freeze. Said, it's not friendly time at all. And I feel that Cole noticed that shit. He didn't give Kendrick the time to even respond. With him apologizing, knowing in this sensitive ass era, the sensitive ass society, if KDOT were to respond directly to seven minute drill after that apology, everyone would have crucified his ass for it and would have <laughs> asked the questions like, why attack someone who surrenders? Why bully someone that says sorry? That nigga knew what he was doing, man. Cole Ooh. says it's because of Q warning him and now he feels bad and doesn't want that burden on his soul losing his friend stop it you just showed your whole ass twice you're not kdot's friend what? you're the nigga in school or just in life that our parents told us to watch out for that. you know the jealous envious friend the snake in tall grass throwing stones and hiding their fucking hands drake has every right every right to feel like cole portrayed him he does i mean look at the timeline of drake and cole's friendship they were closely together way before j cole's breakthrough in music cole knew exactly what that first person shooter was about literally made a seven minute drill song standing on how he felt then yeah. backs out and leaves drake hanging as if he wasn't the other half to the song 
people that started this whole battle to begin with. Yeah, True. that shit don't work in the hood, nigga. Niggas will get fucked up for that shit. That's yeah. called a snake, a flip flopper. That's wishy washy as hell. Cole, the type of nigga that will run away when his homie getting jumped. What friend let 20 niggas go against their people alone, especially when it was something that they helped start? And y'all try to say he's preserving his peace. Nah, man. He's just soft as baby shit. He's weak as hell. This nigga trying to act like he didn't make that's that's a diss, bro. Soft as baby. <laughs> no, my G yo. For real, for real. If a freaking if a freaking like <laughs> J. Cole fan was watching this, they would be uptight, bro. They would be upset. Yo. <sighs> I can enjoy J. Cole's music, bro. Yeah, because yeah, I can enjoy that. But dang, I can separate the freaking music from the artist unless I choose not to. Like, it's a, it's a, it's a conscious choice for me. But dang, bro. <laughs> Yo, this dude, this dude is violating this dude, man. He, 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 he making J. Cole fans upset, bro. <laughs> threats that led up to the war to begin with and now all of a sudden he wants peace he claims to be a peacemaker but throughout his career he's only shown hate taking shots but never standing by shit never standing on it always hiding behind the idea of the peace he talks about i'm sick of cole fans only accusing drake for first person shooter as if it wasn't both their song if you're going to hold drake accountable then Bro. that should go for cole too and anybody new here that ain't never seen my content i can't stand drake Drake says he's a culture vulture and also a PDF file. I don't mess with those, so I'm not sticking mm. up for Drake, but I could be unbiased. I could be unbiased a little bit. I'm not one of those people that, that act like someone's not a human being. If I was Drake, yeah. I wouldn't mess with Cole. Cole's a flip flopper, and, and he left him hanging because if Drake would have apologized after push ups, the world would have caved in on him, and they wouldn't have gave him the same Purple Heart that they try to give to J. Cole's ass. I'm not Cole. here to convince y'all though. I'm, I'm saying I'm not here to convince y'all though. I'm Man, here to yo, talk I, shit. I, I, this I, I new song proved how much of a bitch he is between both K Dot and Drake. Like some female sleeping with two niggas and can't choose a side type shit. It's lame as hell. What and the, then J Cole proceeds. He called him an, he called him a hoe, bro. <laughs> Dang, no. He needs to hop on a song with Rocky, once again, his quote-unquote friend's foe, knowing he was clearly throwing shots at Drake, just so he can later say he has respect for Drake and Port Antonio. He basically did to Drake what he did to Kendrick Lamar, and, and that's Drake's karma. Honestly, it's funny as fuck. However, that just reveals the true snake-ass nature that J. Cole represents. Throwing stones and hiding your hands. J. Cole, go ride a bike, nigga. You're not fooling nobody but your dumbass fan base. The beta the squad the beta boys take that high virtue shit on man your bars hold no weight any longer this is hip-hop gang you shouldn't have started nothing if you can't stand on it y'all niggas condone spineless behavior y'all are easily tricked into believing he's doing the right thing and his fan base refused to see the bitch assness in him he uses that as a crutch when he's proved he's done this exact thing time and time throughout his career. And you guys say, oh, he's such a good guy. Look at him <laughs> ride his bike. <laughs> Yo, this dude ain't, 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 ain't shit, bro. He ain't. <laughs> but, yo, in my case, I tend to like to give people the benefit of the doubt. Like, freaking give them a fear shake and assume what they saying is the truth and they're not trying to deceive me i do look for um certain things in and behaviors and patterns that might tip me off if that person is acting in a suspicious way so yeah if any if any of my videos feel like i freaking went like soft or not too critical or of something or someone that's because I, I tend to put that, like, I always want to put the foot first saying that, give this a fair shake. And then if I find out more later on, I can always change my freaking opinion. Yeah. It's not that deep. At least for me, it's not. <laughs> this is all entertainment, my G. 
Get the fuck out of here. Cole is definitely a beta male. Drake is zesty as fuck, don't get me wrong. But this <laughs> nigga always holds himself as an alpha. Whether he's pretending to be or not, he stands on what he does, and he I says he what he gotta thirds. say. He doesn't let people push him around, and he stands on all 10. He has a spine, and he takes his L. J. Cole is spineless and folds under pressure. People act like we like saying J. Cole can't chair. rap. That shit ain't got nothing to do. <laughs> you know that stuff that they use in wrestling, bro? You know, Call of Duty even got a freaking um um execution with that with it where you run in with that folding chair. Yeah. Running uh, you run in and give somebody that J fold, you know. <laughs> I should stop. J. Cole players are gonna be upset. <laughs> do with it his skills ain't got nothing to do with it he's a facade like drake want to be conscious and morally correct but it's a front the same as drake wanting to be gangster is a front they're two peas in a pod they're both facade ass rappers so pretty much that was a backhand apology Dang. to k dot his new track confirms that saying he wouldn't have lost but he would have lost a friend what kind of backhand statement is that niggas throwing yeah. shots but taking it back at the you saying that K Dot can't rap as good as him? I'm telling you, we saying that Drake, even Drake, can't rap as good as him, bro. Yo, and if he was a he would he 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 didn't back out, you know, it would have went too far where it would have lost a friend and gained a, gained a lifelong enemy, bro. That's what I took from what he said, though. But yo, <laughs> Kendrick is a different type of beast, bro. For real, bro. Yo. <laughs> I've been I, I had the I have this one Kendrick song that I wanted to react to for a long time. It's a very old one with him, B.O.B. and uh T.I. on it. Memories back then. I want to react to that song <laughs> again to show you how Kendrick was 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 flowing with it in the earlier times, you know, before he he got this big, but yeah. When the time comes and I feel like it, I'll do that reaction. But <laughs> let's continue. But uh, I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. Same fucking time. Like, what? It's petty and it gives auntie vibes. And to be honest, auntie? the song sounds like he's taking shots at K Dot, mentioning bots. I gotta dig up dirt and pay the whole team of algorithm bot niggas just to sway the whole thing. One of the main Kendrick disses throughout the beef of him being accused of using bots for his streams and using bots to dislike Drake's songs. Like, for example. Well, I didn't think that. I, I didn't think he was talking about freaking. K dot, I thought I was talking about like what people was accusing accusing Drake of doing, like getting bots to freaking boost the numbers of the streams and making it look like it was more relevant and stuff like that. I didn't, I I didn't follow the beef all the way through. I just I, I reacted to a few a few of the songs, re realized that it wasn't getting me any views. No, so why react to it? I'm telling you. So then I then I then I um just watched how it unfolded until they dropped not like us yo people was dancing i was wondering what the heck is going on and then i made a reaction to not like us but i'm telling you that 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 was enjoyable <laughs> not like us it's, it just the beat just made you want to move mustard went in on that beat bro yeah well here's a nuanced opinion that's actually true did kendrick use bots yes does it matter and did are people outside loving this song yes like nigga you you see the people outside <laughs> you could use bots and also have everybody outside loving the record now all right, i i'll be honest with you I talk to my man from spotify I won't say the name right now but let's just spotify nigga he said hey you i'm gonna be honest with you i don't know what that person on your stream was talking about them streams them Kendrick streams is real. Shouting out Drake directly too right after that? This nigga would say some shit now after the whole beef died down though, huh? His actions spoke volumes during and after this whole beef. And it seems like now he's still fighting to be in the big three conversation when he officially eliminated himself. Hey Cole, go <laughs> ride your damn bike, bruh. No one cares. J. Cole is a passive aggressive rapper. That nigga sucks. He's trash. I don't care what his song sounds like. I can't stand when people say he could rap. He can make great songs. Okay, well, Drake can too. That don't that don't make Drake not. And you see, yo, whenever you see, yo, you see how he just used that example against y'all. Like, whenever. <laughs> like, he just used the example, like, yo, 
that you always make an excuse for freaking J. Cole against you. And <laughs> saying that, yeah, Drake can't do <laughs> And I bet a lot of people didn't like that. Not a bitch. Drake's still a bitch, in my opinion. I can't stand motherfuckers that are so biased. They like to discredit an artist as if they're not great. Drake has made great music. That don't change my feelings towards him. He yes. has made great music. He can write. He has written for other people before. But the motherfucker's a bitch, and he's still a bitch. J. Cole can write. He is a great rapper as far as writing stuff down. He's still a bitch. They're both facades. The fakest motherfuckers in the industry. One don't stand on shit, acts like he's this conscious rapper and has high mor morals, but he does sneak ass, conniving ass, snake ass shit on the side. And the other one tries to act like he's something he ain't, like a gangster, like he'll do some shit. When he ain't never <laughs> lived that life. It is what it is. I'm bullying right now. This that. Yo, yo. <laughs> like, yo, he basically saying that he can separate the art from the artist. And like... He can enjoy the mu music and agree that great music was made, but he doesn't ha have to like the artist, the person behind the music, you know? Yeah, as in give them props for what they can do, but as for liking them as a person, nah, I don't mess with them those. But that's him. <laughs> I don't really care either way. I just enjoy good music from time to time, you know? villain talk man this that villain talk and i hope i pissed every last one of you j cole bitch ass fans i hope i hope you guys are pissed off right now i hope you guys are angry i hope you guys <laughs> go in my comments and light it the fuck up go ahead do your thing <laughs> fuck j cole movement is back in action fuck j cole dang yo <laughs> Yo, this dude went in, dog. Yo, he he freaking had it. Yo, he had it in for freaking J Cole. Yeah, guys, that's it. That's it for the reaction, bro. <laughs> bro, <laughs> a lot of people was uh, was probably upset about this right here. A lot of people. Well, yeah, guys, that is it. I, I don't really care either, either way. This is some entertainment at the end of the day, as in as far as I'm com I'm concerned. So. Whatever the next video is, I'll see you guys in it. Peace out. You take a mass and there's comments in the comment section. Later, people. Let's get this. You know, see a wolf. Later. <laughs>